Okay. When you uh, when you get the news about Matt Milano, looks like he's going to miss a lot of time here. What were your thoughts? What, what's the vibe in the in the locker room? You know, we we don't really know anything yet. Like we haven't. Like, I don't even know what's what's going on. Sean announced that he's going to miss some significant time with a bicep Man. injury. What, like a tear or something? Yeah. So all right. So well, that kind of just hit me a little a little different. So I'm uh, I'm gonna just go check on my teammate. You know, I don't, I don't have any thoughts yet, but that 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 sucks. But I, I like, I can't wait to get in there so I can call him. Yeah, and knowing what he went through, yeah, to get team, back, for sure. You know, I, I, how much does that even play into it? Yeah, I mean, like me, at Milano got got drafted at the same time, and we've been here through every beat of this, and and he's been through a couple of injuries now, uh, and you know, the the journey just got a, a little harder, but. You know, Lano is a special dude, and uh, he'll, he'll be back, and he'll fight through it, and uh, I just can't wait to check on him. And then obviously, yeah, sorry, you know, you see what Dorian, Dorian stepped in last year and had to play a little bit, now he'll be relied upon again. What have you seen from Dorian? Same, the, the same guy, he's and he's out here and flying around. He had a great practice today. Uh, he made some noise, he, he, he let his presence be felt, and uh, I think that he's up for whatever task is ahead of him. But whatever it will be, whatever it, it is, that's what coach prepares us for. Not for like, the next guy's up, but the next guy's up, you know what I'm saying? So everybody just has to be ready because in, like, in this league, obviously, it's a 100% injury rate. Sometimes it's 200, sometimes it's 300. And, you know, guys just have to be ready to go. What about the dynamic of practicing with another team yeah, and then yeah, playing a couple days later? Yeah, <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it was fun. Um, I, I didn't think that I would enjoy it as much as I did, but, you know, practicing against Ed and Greg Russo every day, you know, like that gets like, sheesh, these, these war dogs are, are insane. And then playing against these guys, not to say that, that, but at the level drops, but you know, like when you're doing the same thing over and over and then coming out here and practicing where you're not in a game where you don't have to overly have the anxiety of, of playing, but when you could be free and, and practice what you really want to practice against different guys, uh, I enjoy it. It was it, like, it was fun. I, I tested what I had to test out and uh, I'm glad that that my young guys got to experience this because they understand now that this is a hard league, bro. It is a hard league, and there's good players all over the place, every age, every year, every size, every whatever. We're uh, a league full of full of greatness. You talked about the significance of, of being able to have a joy practice and work on some things that maybe you don't normally get to work on in games. What's the significance of that, just being able to sit back and work on specific things as opposed to maybe just a preseason game? Yeah, it's uh, the best thing about it is – Working your pass set in this league, it's a it's a passing league. So when you get to practice against different guys that you would normally play against, and you have to be your best against without ever practicing against them, it helps your skill bank become sharper. And uh, that's what is going on today. Guys just sharpening about their tools. Maddie. Hey, hey. Tough news about your teammate Matt Milano. Yeah, just heard. Uh, when did you guys hear about that? Just and, just now. Okay. What do you? How are those feelings for a guy who, you know, worked so hard to come back and is now going to be out for a long time? Yeah, my uh, and my feelings are are very high, very high. Uh, I'm not showing it and right now, but uh, as soon as I get in the locker room, I'm a, I'm a call him because um, this league it takes you to a lot of roller coasters, and as a man. You go through a lot of challenges of learning how to be a man and learning how to deal with situations and learning how to handle what is in front of you. Like everybody can can easily say, "Oh yeah, like he's gonna be all right. Just fight through it." But there's a deeper fight within the the fight. And uh, for my dog, like we've been here for eight years, and I came in with him. I got drafted with him. He was my roommate. When, like when we got here, like I mean, like in Armor Heights, they put us. That's my roommate, Lano. We we started this journey together, and uh, I, I honestly just can't wait to call him. I was him. I asked Taryn about this. Like, you guys are some of the leaders that have been on this team for a few years. Had roommates with Matt Milano when you just started. Like, how do you guys like fill a void like that from a leadership perspective? Like, missing a guy for like that for a bit. Like, how yeah. you know you guys who have been here for a while kind of step up when yeah, someone like yeah. that is hurt. I mean, I don't I don't want to downplay that, but. You know, the team is filled and with leaders. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we're going to feel that his presence isn't there. But, like, as as far as a voice, the other leaders will just yeah. put some more weight on. And that's okay. 